processing a rise in the incidence of obesity and metabolic diseases such as diabetes. In fact, over a third of adults are overweight. That's more than 1.9 billion people. There are many common health consequences of being overweight or obese, like diabetes, but also cardiovascular diseases, some cancers and more. The fundamental cause is an energy imbalance between the calories consumed and the calories burned. Much of this crisis has been attributed to our increased consumption of sugary foods and drinks, as well as a decrease in physical activity. However, the impact of obesity on survival is complex and difficult to study. Scientists use the fruit fly Drosophila as a powerful model to study metabolic diseases and longevity. Drosophila have many advantages for scientific research. They have a short lifespan, which allows rapid progress, yet show strong evolutionary conservation with mammals. But importantly, they develop many recognisable features that are associated with high sugar diets, including obesity, as well as a reduced lifespan. But until now, the assumption in the field was that this shortened lifespan on a high sugar diet was due to their diabetic-like complications. Water is essential for life, yet the role of water as a factor in metabolic disease is poorly understood. The researchers discovered that flies on a high sugar diet become thirsty and dehydrated. Remarkably, the shortened lifespan from high sugar feeding can be fully rescued simply by giving flies drinking water. However, their obesity and their diabetic-like symptoms were still retained, showing that the flies were dying earlier for another reason. So why is the high sugar diet damaging to survival? The symptom of thirst results from the actions of the kidney. They eliminate excess sugars via enhanced urine production, which results in dehydration. Following up on the water effect, the team focused on the tubules, the fly equivalent of the kidney, which is important for water regulation. They found that the high sugar diet causes the flies to accumulate uric acid, which is the end product of purine degradation. Purines are an important class of biochemical compound in the cell. For example, they provide the building blocks for our DNA. But uric acid is also prone to crystallize, giving rise to kidney stones in the fly tubules and disrupt their function. But can we translate these findings to humans? Collaborators studied a population cohort of 650 individuals and analysed their dietary records and blood samples. Interestingly, just like flies, they found that dietary sugar intake in humans was associated with worse kidney function and higher levels of purines in the blood. So does this mean we can eat all the sugary treats we want as long as we drink enough tea with it. Unfortunately not. The flies may live longer when they were given access to water, but they are still unhealthy. And in humans, for instance, obesity is a major risk factor for heart disease. But this study is important because it shows that high sugar diets can have a negative impact on health independent of obesity, because high sugar diets are linked to purine metabolism in both flies and humans. Uric acid levels tend to increase with age, therefore the purine pathway is a potential target for treatment to promote health and survival, so it will be interesting in future research to see how these results translate to human longevity.